It's because I didn't know the secret. I'm going to tell you guys the secret right now. When you want to write something, you want to create something, you really have no choice as to what that will be. The reason is, when you create something, you have to find out what's in here before you can decide what's going to come out. When you're a writer, you have to do things based on your own experience, based on what's important to you. You have to find out what comes out. You guys know who Stephen King is? Yeah. He's a famous horror writer, writes horror stories. Someone once asked him, why do you write horror stories? He said, I don't know, that's what comes out. It was true. Stephen King is not something going to be writing romantic comedy. It's not going to happen. So you have to find out what's in here, what's real, before you can decide what's going to come out. I didn't know that. I didn't have a Skype with someone telling me this. So I'm writing all these screenplays, getting nothing but no, 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 until a friend of mine said, do you ever think about writing for kids? And I said, no. <laughs> Who am I, Dr. Seuss? Get out of here, I can write for kids, get out of here. But, but if, if you guys are like me, and I bet most of you are, when you hear something about yourself that you don't agree with, that you don't like, what's your first reaction? You, you dismiss it, right? You're like, oh, don't tell me that, you don't know what you're talking about, leave me alone, go away. But then when you're by yourself and you think about it, I did. I went, after that, my friend suggested to that, and I shot her down. I went home and I thought, I don't want to write for kids, that's just crazy. What if I did? What would I write about? And I'm not kidding, honest to goodness, it was like the floodgate suddenly opened up, and all these ideas came pouring out from books and movies and TV shows and stuff, and suddenly I had this stack of material, and I was like, whoa, I may be slow, but I'm not dumb. Maybe this is what comes out. So I started to write for kids, and people started saying yes. Now, because I was a filmmaker, the first stuff I started to do were uh, TV shows for kids. Uh, most of these shows are before your time, but you may have heard of some of them. Who here has read the Encyclopedia Brown books? Remember Encyclopedia Brown, Boy Detective? Yeah. I, I wrote the only TV version of Encyclopedia Brown. It was on HBO, back when HBO made kids shows. Uh, who here watches uh, Nickelodeon? Come on, be honest. Yeah, come on, SpongeBob fans. Come here. Uh, I made a show on Nickelodeon that lasted for almost 10 years. It was called Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, we're in my office here, so I'm, even though I don't have my PowerPoint presentation, I have some pictures that I pulled them off the wall. Has anyone here ever heard of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Let's see if we can get this to work. This is, uh, let's see if I can do this without getting reflection from the light. This is uh, my cast from. Uh, can you see that? There you go. This is my cast from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, and I'll never forget the day that I pitched this to, uh, to Nickelodeon. Talk about getting no for an answer. I said, okay, here's my idea. I want to do a show about a group of kids sitting by a campfire called the Midnight Society. And they're going to tell spooky stories. But then we're going to leave the campfire and we're actually going to see the spooky story play out whether it's a ghost or a vampire or a mummy. It's really spooky. It's not like Scooby-Doo spooky, you know. It's like, you darn kids. And it's like really spooky. But then at the end, we always come back to the campfire to find out that these kids are just hard enough. And she was like, she goes, no, no, you can't scare little kids. I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and I did. About 10 years, we made 91 episodes of this show. We scared kids all over the world for almost 10 years, and there were books and games and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, who here has been to uh, Disneyland or Disney World? Did you ever ride the uh, Tower of Terror archive? The Tower of Terror? Well, uh, uh, I made the, uh, the first movie that Disney ever did based on a theme park ride called Tower of Terror. It was on Wonderful World of Disney on ABC. And I had to roll a flat for it. Because all the reviews came out and said, leave it to Disney to come up with another way to make money by making movies out of rides that already exist. Now they're making pirate movies, and it's cool because it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> Tonto. <laughs> I did. Uh, the last show I did was a show called, uh, I don't know if you can see this. This is, my, this is me and my cast from, uh, can you see that? A show called Flight 29 Down. Did you ever see that show? 